Okay, in this video episode, I'm going to show you how to divide 4.125 divided by 0.05. Now, the first thing you've got to recognize is when you've got decimal places here on this side, on the divisor, you need to eliminate, you need to get rid of that decimal point right there. So let me write that down first. You need to get rid of the decimal place place in the divisor. That's a fancy word for this number. This divides into there, so that's called the divisor. We need to get rid of that decimal place. So how do we do that? Well, if I take the 0 0.05, 0 0.05, I want to get rid of that decimal point. I need to move it to the right two decimal places. One, two, take it out over there and it eliminates it. So let's look at this. When we multiply, the decimal point moves to the right. So that moves to the right. And it moves to the right by the number of zeros that we're going to multiply by. So let's have a look here. We want to move to the right one, two decimal places. Two decimal places means two zeros. So two zeros means we're going to multiply by a number with two zeros. You just put a one in front of it, 100. If I multiply this number, 0 0.05 by 100, It'll move the decimal place 1, 2, and that'll become 5. So the answer will be 5. 0 0.05 times 100 is 5. So we've eliminated the decimal point. The decimal point, PT. So to eliminate the decimal point, that we multiplied by 100. And that becomes, what does it become? It becomes 5. There's our 5. Multiply by 100, 5. Now, if we multiply this side by 100, what do we do on this side? We do the same thing. So let's go ahead and do that. We multiply by 100. Now, how many zeros in the 100? There are two zeros. So that means we move two decimal places to the right. So let's take this 4.125, 4.125, and move that decimal place right there by two places to the right. So let's go ahead and count two. One, two, there's our new decimal place right there between the two and the five. So this will become, if I rewrite it, 412.5. That's our new decimal point. Let me just highlight it there in black. 412.5, that's our new number because we just multiplied by 100. So this becomes here on this side, 412.5. 412.5. Okay, now put the division sign over here. So, 0 0.05, we multiply by 100, we got 5. 4.125, multiply by 100, we got 412.5. So, dividing this into that is the same as dividing that into that. So, let's go ahead and do this division now. So, I'm going to put 5 as a divisor into. The number here, 412.5. Now, it doesn't matter that this side's got a decimal point in it. We don't mind. It's easy to work with. What we need to do is eliminate the decimal point on the right-hand side, which is right there, which we did it, and there's no decimal point. So now let's divide into that. So 5 into the first two digits. By the way, we're going to ignore that decimal point for now and then introduce it later. First two digits is 41. How many times does 5 go into 41? Well, 5 times 8 is 40, isn't it? So let's go in 8 times. 5 times 8 is 40. 40 from 41 leaves a remainder of 1, doesn't it? So we put a 1 over here. So now 5 into 12. How many times does 5 go into 12? Well, it goes in 2 times because that's 10, isn't it? 2 times 5 is 10. 10 from 12. Well, 12 take away 10 is 2. That's the remainder, 2. So let's put a 2 over there. So put a big 2 right there. 25. So let's go. 5 into 25 goes in 5 times. So put a 5 right over there. So we've got 825. Now we can introduce the decimal point, which is down there. See that decimal point there? We go in one point, one place. So we go in one place. One place. One decimal place. All right. One place this way. So let's do the same. Let's go one place in. So we go there. In one place, 
the new decimal point is right there between the two and the five. So it's 82.5. So let me write that down over here. 80 2.5. So again, 4.125 divided by 0.05 is 82.5. There you go.